What's going on, brother? What's happening? I, I, I cool, man. Poor, humble, and polite as usual. You know, you know. Yeah, me. you get the last spot today, you know. You get the last spot <laughs> of the interviews today. Once here, tell me that tomorrow. <laughs> full, full, full spot tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, and the results, you, right? Look at you, look at you. What's happening, Master Salim? I cool, man. I cool. Just blessed, feeling, feeling um, excited. You look very um, you look very calm and collective today, though. Yeah. Um, why not? Is everything in order for tomorrow? Yeah. Set and ready. I have me, I have God, I have a song, I have a band, I have some dancers. And you in the finals? What else could go wrong? Tell us Master <laughs> Salim, what's the um what's the feeling like on your end? I mean you made it to the finals, was it twice before? Three times? Two a, times? A couple times before, yeah. So you're no stranger to the um Chutney Soka stage. Not, definitely not. You know that stage to quite an extent. Yes. What can we um Look up for tomorrow night. What's the vibes? What's happening? Strategy. Um, well, your song actually is one of the songs that you can actually do a lot with. Yes. In terms of the lyrical content. <laughs> so, are we expected to see uh, Master Salim with an entire nice performance there with the, the actual parts in the song? So, in the song or no? Um. Yeah. Yeah. But I I want to capitalize a little bit this year on, on myself. And, right. and not necessarily um, the, the glitz and the glamour. Right. You know, I want to I want to focus on me. And um, of course, the competition is not as a lot of people thinking that the competition is an easy go this year. But I disagree with that. I think that the competition is still um, it's still a competition. It's eh? still a competition, and, and 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 everybody in the grand finals this year, they they are very much experienced. Yeah, you know, a couple of them may be newcomers or second timers to the to the grand finals, but everybody else, beside competition stage, everybody else um, are very much seasoned artists, and that is a that is a, a, a main factor that we can't just bypass and say, well, you know, because we have no Ravi B or no K I or no Raymond or whatever the case may be, it's an easy breeze, but we still yeah. have men like Ricky Jai inside. Yeah, you know, we have Nishad Meru, Nival Chetlal, two tremendous. Uh, performer is uh, Nishad Meru is a uh, he mastered that stage that particular stage and Nival Chetlal is a, is a tremendous singer um, you know there, there's so much Vika Sadeo and, and, and Rafi Babaram good song big song there's there's the Kenneth Superstar the, the massive big line and so I think this is one of the years Salim that um, you know as you said there's no Ravi there's no KI, there's no Raymond in the competition. This yeah. is, a, I think this is one of the few times that nobody is pinpointing a winner. I think the, the, the playing field is left very open. Fair enough. Even until today, mm -hmm. one day to go before the Monarch. From what all the artists came in and said, basically their, their general um, comments were, the playing field is left open this year. Yeah. Compared to the other years when you had the I other think contenders. It has been like that for all the years, you know, because I'll tell you why. There was one year in particular I could recall, which was 2014. Ravi B had <coughs> Bread. Bread was one of the biggest, biggest songs. songs that was playing anywhere you go across the board. And K.I. Mm. came from nowhere with Runaway and... Yeah, as the dark horse in the race. You know, so, I mean, it has always been mm. open. Because Ricky Jai, for one, has proven over and over and over and over that Come big from songs behind. Yeah, big songs doesn't win, win that show. You know? So tomorrow is, is all up to, to the individual artist, what you go out there and what you do, you know, try to, try to, you know, um, not to be overconfident and just be, be a part of your performance. Don't be outside of your performance. Yeah, be in it. Yes. Because some people tend to have the entire performance, but mentally they are above that. You can't be like that because then your performance will be here and you'll be out on top. So yeah. you need to be a part, a part of your production. You know, you need to be a part of it and fit yourself where you're supposed to be and execute the way you're supposed to execute. Tomorrow night, you have 10 competitors that you're going up against, Salim. What are your thoughts on the competitors this year in particular? Um, they are all great in their own way. Um, like I said before, we have experience. This stage tomorrow night, we, we are missing the fact that there's a lot of experience um, artists competing on that stage you know and based on that it makes the competition a lot harder yeah you understand because of experience once experience get into play there's no you can't beat it you there's can't no beat the guessing experience. there you know you know yeah. because 
you experience something that will give you the notch over everybody else. You know, so my ten competitors tomorrow night, they are all winners. They they all have the ingredients to be winners. Right. You know, so I just wanna tomorrow night is one night. Everybody say that they wanna have fun tomorrow night, right? But I think that I am probably the only person that is going to have fun on that stage tomorrow. And I'll explain to you why. 2018 is a very special year for me because for the very first time in my life, on this stage, with no help. Right. This year, I had no team to call nobody to pick up anything, to, to, to nothing. I had to wake up every day for the past two weeks, make all my phone calls, go meet people, go try to get sponsors, try to get this, try to get that, then try to arrange my music, then try to arrange myself, then um, try to, to, to picture the stage mentally and how, how do I plan to enter the stage and work the stage, what do I say when I go low, how do I talk to the people, how do I gravitate my performance towards the judges, how do I gravitate my performance towards the audience. Right. I had to do all of that, there was no ideas being tossed my way. You know? right. So this is what makes it very special to me. Cause it's all you this year. 2018 is only Master Selena. I love that. I love that. I, I, I'm excited to see tomorrow and what's going to go down with your performance. <laughs> um, what number are you performing tomorrow night? I'll be I know performing at number 7. Lucky 7 boy. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Thoughts, Master Salim? Are you ready? Excited? Everything is set and ready to go? I, listen, I I have God on my side. I, I, I put the Lord next to me, you know. I invited the Lord next to me. And believe it or not, I last Sunday was Saraswati Jayanti, which is for all musicians and, and stuff like that, you know. And I went and I did my puja and stuff. And believe it or not, I prayed for everybody in the industry that is in this competition that is going to grace that stage tomorrow night. You know, and the Lord knows best what is going to happen. All I want to do is, is just come out successful. You know, what do what do you, everybody want to win the first? Everybody place? won first, please, because it comes with the label win or winner, right? But what is the win? What is the real win? Is it three hundred thousand dollars or is it six after? We don't know. Winning for you might mean the title, it might mean the money, but it might mean something else to me. Correct. Okay. You know? So, in here, I have exactly what it is I want to achieve tomorrow night. Once I get there, I am the winner. Don't know. First place, second place, third place, last place, whatever it is. Once I reach where I want to go, I have already won my competition. My competition. But I would, I could ensure you that tomorrow night is not going to be a walk in the park. I well, a lot of people, um, a lot of the artists thinking it's a walk in the park tomorrow. Eh? Tomorrow night is where I will unleash the real master blaster. Well, look up tomorrow night, you know, Master Salim with us this afternoon. Salim, before you run off, time running here. Yeah. Anything you want to say to your fans, your supporters, your lovers of your music ahead of tomorrow's uh, final? I just want to show gratitude. That's it. I am grateful to all the people that supported me from the get-go of my career. And I want to say thank you for continuing that support. And You guys, this year, believe it or not, the people is who inspired me for this competition semi-finals and the grand finals tomorrow so i want to say thank you you guys don't know how important you are to me or what you mean to me and come down tomorrow and let's do this together tomorrow night is me firstly is the lord on that stage it's myself and it's the people we are going to do that performance tomorrow we are all going to do it. The Lord, myself, and you, the people, we're going to do it. Master Salim, we want to wish you all the best, brother, in tomorrow's final. Thanks for making the time of your busy schedule, as you said. It's you and you alone handling everything. We appreciate your presence this afternoon. Thank Being here, much. chatting CSM 2018. All the best to you tomorrow night. Thank you very much, Greg. Sing out a piece of me. Sing out a piece of me. Uh, 
The next day, yeah. my girl tell me that I had no shame. So I end up drinking more of my game. The next day, my girl tell me that I had no shame. So I end up drinking more of my game. Watch me how I shameless. I dirty and reckless. Watch me how I live. Oh God. Tomorrow night, tomorrow night is going to go down. Tomorrow night is, is, is what? <laughs> Salim, all the best to you, brother. Blessings to you, my brother. Easy master blaster. Omarat is doing exactly what all of us are doing. We enter the competition. So what makes him the target? Because he's the champion. Omarat is, is still under the same amount of pressure. E even more pressure. Even more, even more, yeah. Right? So I think that we should, you know, be happy for him and, and you know, still encourage him to, Omar, go out there and do your best. You yeah. know? Go out there and represent, yo, 11 of us going out there tomorrow to represent what we are very passionate about, you know? We are going out there to represent our entire fraternity. We are going out there to represent Chutney Soka music. We need to go out there and do our best. Pulling down the, the next competitor isn't doing anything for the art form. It might just do something for me. You understand? Yeah. But I think that, yo, encourage your brothers and well, brothers and sister because Kenneth in my comedy dress. <laughs> but, but nevertheless, just go out there and, you know, just, just have fun. Represent, represent. If you think about it as a competition, you might kind of be over-focused and putting too much focus into it. Yeah. Just relax like me. Right now, I just chilling. I just went and had two doubles across the road. Yeah, yeah, happy. bring none for Greg, eh? Yeah, Greg. You see, you see how he is? Salim, we all the time, brother. All the best to you. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow skin Action park. number seven. Number seven. Lucky, Lucky seven. seven and it's real pressure down there. Who coming to sing Pekong? Sing Pekong, brother. Anybody coming to I sing Pekong? I hope the artists that sing in Pekong could take Pekong. I you know what? Thank you, Greg. Artists tomorrow night, everybody who coasted and acting a role. Artists tomorrow night, please. If you're singing Pekong, I hope when it returns to you, you can handle it. And all I'm going to say is everybody know my mouth. Say no more. I don't talk. Say no more. So leave, we gone. <laughs> Trinidad and Tobago, catch me tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. for the Chutney Train.